This is part four of my productivity workflow of how I have passed my medical degree while running businesses, rental properties, training, relationships, and been able to maintain my sanity while doing so. So if you haven't watched part one, two, and three, go back and do that now. The next part of capture, review, and do is review. This is the part that I find hardest and I think I'm weakest at, but it's really important that you get this in place and you turn it into a daily process and then an extended one as a weekly process. That way, you know that when you turn up for the day, you know exactly what you're doing, why you need to be doing it, and there's no stress of trying to figure out what you're doing while the things are going on. And the way to do this is separate planning from execution. They are two separate things, they require two different hats, two different forms of headspace, and when you've got that in place, then you could just turn up and do what you need to do. How much better is it turning up to the gym when you have a plan and a training program written out? You're like, I just need to turn up and do this stuff, rather than turning up and being like, oh, um, I could try that machine for a bit, and then what do I, have I finished? I don't know, I'm feeling a bit tired, but have I? Instead, have a plan, know what you need to do, turn up, get in, get out. You procrastinate because your inbox lists include lots of vague events. You need to break things down into what is the next action. So let's give an example of make a salad. I mean, you shouldn't be making a salad anyway. You should be hiring someone to make the salad for you because they'll do it better. But let's say you want to make a salad and that's your ultimate thing for the day. You don't just put into your tick-tick, make salad, because that is a multi-part process. That's a project which involves go to the shop, buy lemons, lettuce, carrots, you can tell I've <laughs> you can tell I've not made a salad in a while, peppers, whatever. Then you've got chop the vegetables, mix the vegetables, <laughs> add the Caesar salad sauce, whatever you put on your salad, and eat the salad. So that was a crap example, but you get the picture that if you have a project, you can't just sit down and be like, right, time to make the salad, because it requires a bit of prep and a bit of breaking things down into what are the next actions for each of these. When you know that, the project becomes less intimidating because you know that it is just a series of much smaller actions. You need to dumb it down for your brain so that it's not intimidated by these big projects. If you wrote, write dissertation, that's a multi-month project. That's not something that you can just bash out in a day. But if instead it was collect 20 papers relating to this keyword, read paper one today, read paper two, take notes on papers one and two. These are sub actions that are much less intimidating and you can just take bite sized chunks. So that is part four. That is review of the capture, review and do process. Next, we're going to cover do, which is definitely the most important part of this process. 